Hi, my name is Ryan, and I'm one of many product managers here at Franklin Sports that helped engineer and design this Dual Hoops Rebound Pro. Setting up some of these larger table games can sometimes be a little difficult. So I'm here today to help simplify the process for you. So join me in setting up your Franklin Sports Dual Hoops Rebound Pro together. Turn to page two in the instruction manual and review the components list. This makes it easy for you to match up the components that you've laid out on the floor to the components in the instruction manual, making sure you have everything you need before you start building the item. The easiest way to begin setting up your Dual Hoops Rebound Pro is to lay out all the components. This makes it easy in figure one, figure two, and figure three to connect all the poles together. For instance, two to three and two to four. The push pins are easy to use. Simply push in the pins, line up the pin and the holes, and slide together. Do this for poles two to three, two to four, six to five, and seven to five. Step four is a very important part in putting the basketball frame game together. We're basically setting the foundation for the rest of the unit, so please watch carefully. What you want to do is after part eight and nine is put together, you want to have one other adult hold the two poles here and then connect part eight and nine with a bolt through a washer, and then you put it through the pole. Bolt, washer, pole. Put it through part eight and nine. Then you attach another washer. And then you attach the wing nut. The reason step four is so important is because you're laying out the framework here. So once part eight and nine is connected to the two standing poles, you wanna make sure that when you're facing the unit, you have two holes facing you and one hole facing towards the middle. When you're connecting the side poles to the main base here, what you wanna do is note that there's three holes here. It's important that you know that you have to put the bolt into the top hole here and attach it to the base. So you put the bolt through a washer, through part five, connect it to part eight, and then finish with a washer and a wing nut. And then repeat on the other side and your base is complete. Now that we attached part 10 to the back, you see that the stand can stand freely on its own. Now what's next is to lay out the front parts as you did prior. Once these parts are laid out, it's easier to put the front frame together as it was the back frame. The installation of the rim and sensor score is relatively simple. Make sure the faceplate is mounted to the back of the backboard when you install the rim and score with the bolts and the wing nuts. Once the rim is installed, next you install the scorer sensor. Be sure that you run the wire through the designated hole before attaching the four bolts. Now that the rims and scoring sensors are all set on the backboard, the next step is to attach the backboard to the top poles that will eventually go onto the frame. You do this using part one. What you want to do is put part one behind the backboard. You want to take the bolt, put a washer on, slide it through the backboard, through the pole, and then what you want to do is you want to attach another washer and attach a hook facing up on the back. You then finish it off with a wing nut and repeat on the other side. Once the frame is fully assembled, as well as the backboard with the rims and sensors attached, what you want to do is place the backboard on top of the frame using two adults. So once you lift up the backboard, it simply slides right onto the pole. You attach two bolts and the backboard's good to go. Next, attach the ball return to the frame. First, you must slide the elastic bands over part one, followed by the sleeves of the ball return. The elastic bands attach to the hooks behind the backboard. After the top bands have been hooked up, the next step is to attach the lower bands to the bottom hooks. You then attach the ball return to the front of the system, sliding part 10 through the front sleeve of the ball return, attaching with parts 19, 24, and 27. 
Once the ball return is on the physical frame, the next step is to tighten all the straps on the ball return. Each strap you see along the ball return has some meaning to it. The two long straps on the side, there's one over here that connects to pole number seven. Then there's one on the left side. Connect those two straps first. The next two are on the corners, which connect to the bottom hangers here. Connect the one on the left. Then connect the one on the right. The last two remaining straps are strictly for the bottom of the ball return. These can be connected to any of the wing nuts you see on the backboard. So what that does is keep the ball return nice and tight during gameplay. The last strap on the ball return that needs to be tightened are the front two. Now these two can loosen up during gameplay, so you may need to re-tighten from now and again. So what you do is just simply take the elastic band around the ball return and then just connect the Velcro. Once this is done, your ball return should be fully tightened and ready for gameplay. The last step to do now is to go back and tighten all of the bolts to make sure that the frame is nice and sturdy for gameplay. The final step is connecting the control box to the front bar using part number 30 and 37. Before you begin gameplay, please make sure the electrical wire is properly contained along the straps here. What you have are four Velcro straps. Each one of them can easily be pulled and the wire tightened. Once you do that, you run the wire all the way up to the connection box in the back. Once that's complete, the next step is to lock the brace in place. What you want to do is take the bolt that you originally put here through the washer and just put it through the lock tube. Once it goes through the lock tube, the game is sturdy, set, and ready to play. When done playing the game, your Franklin Sports Rebound Pro has been engineered to fold away easily for storage options. Simply look over at, at your clip, pull the pin, repeat on the other side, then just move back to the front of the net, lift up slowly, touch the backboard with the front bar, and simply go back down to the locking pin, insert, repeat on the other side, and you're good to go. Now that the game is fully assembled, it's time to play. All you have to do is turn the on switch on in the backboard, then walk back to the front and operate from this frequency from here on out. In order to activate the sensor inside the control box, you'll need to hold the power switch for five seconds and then tap it one time. After that, any time you come to the front again, all you have to do is give a simple tap and the game's ready to play. From there on out, just use the sensors, follow the instruction manual, and play away. Thank you for taking the time to check out this setup video for your Franklin Sports Dual Hoops Rebound Pro. I hope it helped you. Please check us out on our website, franklinsports.com, for all your sporting goods needs.